If you would like to try making comb honey, you have some choices. Cut comb, Ross rounds, or the hog half comb system. Let's take a look at the hog half comb comb honey super. It's called the half comb because the bees don't draw comb out in two directions from foundation. They draw the comb out from the base of each plastic cassette. Betterbee is proud to work with Herman Dannenhauer, who owns the Hog Half Comb Company. You might meet Herman at the Betterbee booth at a trade show or beekeeping convention, and he'll be glad to chat with you about how to achieve success with comb honey. Let's unbox our Hog Half Comb Complete Super. It's double boxed to protect it from damage. That small box is the lids that will go with your cassettes. Remember, there's no foundation to install. So the hog half comb system is the most convenient. However, with every comb honey system, you need two things to succeed. A very strong and fast honey flow and a strong populous honeybee colony. That's the hog half comb, comb honey super with the cassettes all installed and ready to go. The four and three quarters inch tall super is sized to hold the square styrene comb cassettes. This is one of the 40 cassettes in the 10 frame hog. You can see the base has been sprayed with pure beeswax. And from that base, the bees draw their comb and then they cap it over with beeswax. When the beekeeper sees that the combs have been capped, it's important to quickly take the comb honey super away from the bees so that the cappings don't get travel stained. It's wise to then freeze the super to make sure there are no wax moth eggs or tiny wax moth larvae alive. And these are the crystal clear covers that will go with your cassettes. There aren't any frames in this system just the cassettes held tightly into the box. There are gaps though. The bees crawl through these gaps into each cassette and build their comb honey. When you first receive a new super complete kit, there's no need to take these cassettes out of the middle, but I wanna show you how everything goes together so we can just get oriented with the parts. It's easy to pull out these springs with a standard hive tool. If you lose your springs, we do sell replacements. And if you ever need any extra orange tape, we also have that. Two of the follower boards are simple boards and the other two have ribs along their back. First, pull out one of the smooth follower boards. Here's the short one. And here's the long one. The long one has a little bit of a special detail along one side. And this is meant to face inwards towards the hog half comb cassettes. Now we can get the entire setup of comb cassettes out and show you that they're very firmly held together. Remember, the employees at the Hog Half Comb Company assemble these stacks of cassettes and tape them firmly together for you. Here's the two follower boards that have the ribs along the back side. Now let's say it's your second or third year and show you how to put that refill pack into the hog super. 
All these things fit together in a certain way, in a certain order. Take the refill pack and put it so the smooth side, the bottoms of the cassettes are against that follower board, the long one that has the ribs. Just slide it down and snug it up into those two follower boards. Now let's do the smooth follower boards that have no ribs, but this one, remember, it has those grooves carved out and the groove side fits against the cassettes. The smooth side fits against the inner wall of the super. You'll see how they fit into those cassettes edges. There's still a little play there and you don't want any play. So put the super springs in and that will squeeze the follower board tightly against all those comb cassettes. If it's hard to get it in, or it doesn't seem like this crack is wide enough, then one of your follower boards is misaligned with the others. We're putting in the shorter one, and I've just noticed it's misaligned. See that? The follower board should be pressed tightly against the cassettes. Let's see that again. There you go. Now put in the springs. If necessary, you can pry the follower board a little bit with your hive tool, but it shouldn't be a lot of force. So there it is, ready to go. Now here's the hog cassette. I'm gonna show you how the customer would open it. Just follow the dotted line with a knife and that releases the front at the back is this label that becomes a hinge. So every cassette that's sold is approximately 12 ounces of comb honey, and it should sell for a nice premium price. The plastic cassette that the bees build the comb in becomes the container that the customer uses. So it can just stay on the kitchen table or the counter and be ready for anybody who wants some comb honey. Mmm.